Where tornadoes touch down and snow stalls traffic, you can see the old Chubbuck Homestead and their Wonderview Tower reaching an elevation of 5,751 feet into the air. My dad really loved visiting with people and yeah. telling them all the stories and um, he touched a lot, a lot of lives of a lot of people that came through here. It's Connie's dad, Jerry, who took over this roadside attraction off US 24 in 1967. He began amassing all kinds of things from the 8,000 year old bison kill he found in Cheyenne County to a 75,000 year old imperial mammoth skeleton. Okay. Yep. Two, two stompers back up higher. Now workers have to move a 760 pound mammoth skull. Who did the measuring? I did. Through this little door frame to get the skull ready for auction. There you go. There we go. Tom Burns and his crew have been working here for weeks. It took us five days just to do one room. That's six guys working for five days just to get one room. And there are more than a dozen rooms. To call Jerry Chubbuck a hoarder puts things mildly. Have you ever seen an Arrowhead collection such as this? Not, not this big, no. I mean, this is amazing. Yeah, usually you'll find somebody will have half a dozen frames, but this is just endless. There's over 500 of these frames. It's kind of neat that we can see all the rows from up here. Well, we did make it up to the top of the Wonderview Tower. Over here, you can see Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska, and then we swing back around to Colorado. You can see six states from this very spot. It's amazing. Or so certifies Ripley's Believe It or Not. As for the family, they hope this tallest point between the Rockies and New York City can become a real museum for Lincoln County when all the stuff is gone. I really hope they're going to somebody that'll appreciate them like my dad did. This is priceless stuff. Yeah, it is. The Chubbuck family giving this old Colorado rest stop a way to rest in peace. In Genoa, Chambowman, Fox 31 Denver.